Hello and welcome back to Pillars of Eternity Blind. Um, there's some horses here. Wasn't the water stream just down this way? Where, where did it go? <laughs> well, he did say his stream's not going anywhere, but still. Your life doesn't agree with you, does it? You look as raw as that merchant Hyoden. Uh, well, I I was bitten by a bug and made very ill. Why are you making fun of me when I'm sick? I'm sick. I'm not on my top at the top of my A game. <laughs> no matter how rough and tawdy I am, this is really stop the fact that I'm fucking sick. Even ex Alexander Great got killed by a sickness. Path winds through a narrow canyon back the way you came. Grooves and road. You shouldn't path. stray too far. Okay, well. But where's the stream then? I guess down there? Yeah, this sounds like water. Hope he didn't get killed by anything. Good sir. This is the water. Okay. Up to five party members. Shit, Obsidian, when you do shit, you don't do it half heartedly. When oh. hunting. At least you left the water skins. Come on. You crowd out your river bank and dip your water skin into the cool water while Kellis. Alicia waits nearby, keeping watch. As you rise, you notice her look up sharply through towards the tree line. Out of the trees emerges Sparkle, one of the guides barely discernible in the dim moonlight. He no longer carries his bow, and there is a strangeness to his gait. His stride warply as he moves towards you with labored breath. Sparkle, are you all right? Spoffle's toe catches on a rock and he collapses forward in a heap. The feathered shaft of an arrow planted between his shoulders like an enemy flag. I guess he disturbed the locals. Ambush! We just cut around in the ears. We were we were invited here. You're mine. Death to our enemies. Come on, we have to get back to camp. Yeah, that was probably for the best. Wait. What did I pick up? Hunting bow, two handed. Hide armor. Okay. Off we go. Stop this. Oh, there. Yeah, come on. 
Ready when you are. You better run! Come on. Kill him! Yes, that's how we do. Don't tell me the camp is completely overrun with idiots. That's the wrong way. Oh. Jeez. <laughs> Oh, f no, the merchant dude. And we learned his backstory and everything. All around you lie the massacred remains of other travelers peppered with arrows and knife hilts. Splayed and bug eyed and filthy. Glacia puts the back of her hand, uh, left hand, to her mouth as if to ward away some poisonous vapor. Handful of dark figures stands above the fallen, treading on limbs and back. Backs and heads, I thought. Yeah, I, the reason I did the voice first was because I thought he was talking. Uh, checking their axes from bodies as if from half split logs. One of them towering is a weird with a thick beard, tasseled with knots, holds a wet plate at the neck of the man you recognize as Hilwathen. Last of your caravan left standing. Lay down your arms, trespasser. Do not forfeit this man's life or fight you will lose. The ruin has not been sullied by our hands, men of Eotlief. Though that's carry no weight when I've seen the truth with my own eyes. Blood must be paid for this intrusion. So I say again, lay down your arms. Don't trust them, they mean to kill us all. Judging by the string of animal teeth around your neck, I'm guessing your worship is of Galavang. If Galavang told you to stop protecting the ruins, would you? The man frowns and moans as if he's to swing his axe. Hilt and vinces, but the blow never comes. Instead, the man cocks his essentry. Of course, but he would not. It is by the command of all gods that we have accepted that we accept this charge. How do you know? Because it's consistent with the beliefs, of course, is that you what you were told. It has always been known to my people. I see, and wha what of Galavain's edict that weakness and age must be purged by youth and strength? You think Galavain would m want some moldy crumpling of stones to survive long after their builders have turned to dust? The man's nostril flares. He fumes. He would not. He told us otherwise. I'm sure he did. Just not you personally. But why should that stop you from killing innocents? Distracted, the man's grip falters on his axe handle, and he nearly fumbles it. Falling here in the moment, he needs to dodge out of his swing, which comes too late. Howling with rage, the man charges you instead. Fuck yeah! You're... There we go. Your enemy lies su supine on the ground. Unable to rise, his companions now silent among the other dead. His breast comes in wheezing, fitful gasp. He looks not at you, but at the sky above you. Forgive us. Barely audible beneath his choked sighs, a wisp of wind stirs the air. At this, the man's eyes rolls back and he slows them. Good. Good. The gods are just. A queer smile crosses his face. I am ready. The wind begins to swell, whipping around the camp, electric and volatile. You pending pots and rattling tents like an angry... Upending pots and rattling tents like an angry spirit. You can feel it begin to seep beneath your skin, and where it pierces you feel as, as though it is rending you apart from within. Seated against a wagon wheel amidst the holy maelstrom, slashes across chest and ball, the demon's body stirs, and with great effort he raises his second head, his ears barely open, he looks directly at you. Get inside! Run! Oh. 
Oh shit! A Bilwak! Which is weird because the same pronunciation is a, a, an Inuit hut made of ice. Oh well. No, not, not. That's wrong. That's wrong, I think. Alright. Straining against a gale that threatens to pull you off of your feet with every step you set your hands in the warnfuls of weathered rocks and set about, about pulling yourself up the precipice. With a last burst of, energy, burst of energy before your arms give out, you swing yourself up onto the ledge. Hilden trails behind, slowed by injury and delayed by early hesitation. As he nears the face of rocks, one of the falling attackers, who had been feigning death, lunges for Hilden and topples him in on, onto the rocky ground. Restrained, Hilden lashes out against his fatigued assailant but struggles to break his hold. The closer you, despite the wind, Uh, the closer you, despite the wind from your position, were to throw your weapon attacker, you would have a good chance at hitting your mark. Your aim is true, and the hit chars Hilden loose. Lurching to his feet, Hilden chambers, clampers up the base of the rocks and he nears the top. However, the wind flares, pulling him sideways and tearing one of his hands free. But driving out onto the hard rock, you manage to catch hold of it. Securing his other hand, you pull with veining strength. And it feels as though your arms will be jerked from their sockets. They hold just long enough for Hilden to set his feet and join you on the trembling ledge. There's a deep resonance to the swelling wind now. You feel it in the rocks beneath your feet and inside the cavity of your own chest. As though it would shake the marrow from your bones. Its new gust menaces the old stones before you, loosening connections, unsettling balances. As you dart beneath the old archway, the entire portal begins to fall beneath its own weight. <laughs> I hope my reading isn't too annoying. Um, I think I'd read quicker than most people, so that's why I'm reading it aloud. <sighs> Was okay. that a Beowick? Had to be. Then we're lucky to be alive. And we're the only ones. There could be another collapse. We're not getting out that way anyway. Let's get further inside. Yeah. That's a good idea. These the reputation represent your people, how your people receive your personality throughout the world. Even seemingly nasty reputation will be favored by some people, and benign reputation often bring out the worst in certain people. No disposition is inherently good or bad in pillars of eternity. Holy shit. When do I level up? Camp, scouting, inventory, character. Experience 606 out of 1000. Okay. That should be far enough. <sighs> but what now? Storm has to die sometime. What happened out there? Windstorm of a kind they only get in here at Clan Fath. Not too many people live through them, so it's hard to know what's true. The Clan Fath and word is Beavik. To them, it's God's way of repe is the God's way of reaping the souls of the land that couldn't find their own way out. Well, take a living soul, soul as soon as a dead one. Still got yours. Who attacked us? Clan Fathans. Those be the hot dwellers, so damn I warned you about. Look to be the fangs of Galavane. Who are the twitchiers of the lot? They go ruin to ruin looking for fights with colonists. Poor Dima. I think you have expected this once we lost the main road. Lanfazan uh, said we trespass in ruins. I don't believe that, but Dima would never allow it. As much as the fangs are hotheads, Lanfazans don't attack without be being provoked. Either they saw something and got the wrong idea, or. Well, there's looters in here with us. That's not something we need right now. What right? What about everyone else in our caravan? The wheels got hold of them now. Gods grant them better luck in their next lives. I don't see too much of all of this. 
maybe you just don't know enough to know what upset looks like. I mean, you have seen worse too. Seen worse and kept on walking, because there's nothing else to be done. Because there's other people you care about who still need you. What about that fabled tea we were talking about? Someone else has been here. We should move. Okay. Discover some camping supplies. Uh, inventory. Let's see. Uh, damage resistance six. A lot of daggers you got there. Crafting. Okay. Let's see. What have we got in here? A trembling, sickly creature emerges from the dark, clutching a spear. Knobby elbows and thin ribs show through his scaly flesh, but re recognize it as a sharip. It watches you cautiously, breathing in ragged sighs. Rukiji cuts his head and approaches you, a soft clinking sound em emanating from the back of his throat. <laughs> Creature sniffs around you and finds nothing of interest, steps back and resumes his defensive posture. So okay, I won't hurt you. The sorry recoils, fingers still wrapped tightly around his spear. Rukiji cocks his head and approaches you, a soft clinking sound emanating from the back of his throat. <laughs> Creature sniffs around you, slowly back away. Leave it alone. He's a reach. Dangerous place full of lurking enemies and carefully concealed secrets. Enable scouting mode to move stealthily and search for hidden objects like traps and secret doors. Scouting mode is. Stay quiet. Those tiles look suspicious. Let's be careful. Worth a look. Oops. Ready when you are. Ready when you are. Okay. How do you... Oh. Oh. I'll be quiet. Why is it why is everything a trap? <laughs> Worth a look. Does he get XP? Because that's good. Okay. It's hard to rem <laughs> I guess I, I accidentally forgot you have to to left click on things to activate them and right click to move towards them. Okay. 
Do you feel that? There's a draft coming through that wall. I don't hear any sign of that storm either. Oh shit, it's a spider! Two! Okay. Okay. What was this? This was nothing. Okay. And here we go. No, open it! That was an oopsie. Go in. What is that? That roundish symbol. I'm pretty sure I saw it on one of the tiles back there. Use the torch to light the prasia. Flames kindle swiftly in the prasia, winding the this. The mural must be ancient, yet the colors are still bright and vivid. It's just a procession of vic- Uh... A vic visions from all the kith races, all the elf, old and dwarf and human. They walk around pillars similar to the ones that span this chamber, each one topped with a flame. Okay. Well, I guess we can just do that. I'll go on ahead. Yeah, you do that. What do we got in here? More... No, those are oozes. Your mom... Yeah. Come on, get it! Get the ooth. Get the ooth. What's that muck on the wall? Huh. Might as well bring it with me. Vicious as oily, this muck clings to anything that touches. A vicious slick of something dark and tar-like runs down the wall The shapes and bulges in the ooze suggest that something lies beneath it. But you can't tell what. Use your water skin to clear the ooze. You cleanse the ooze away, revealing an intri intricate relief of a man's face. Your sun bursts around him as it has chipped away from places. But the deed tells of his head, from the tight curls of his hair to the riches of his pointed ears. Still showcase remarkable craftsmanship. One eye circuit is empty, a gem fills the other. We'll take the take the fucking gem then. No, I guess not. Okay. Well, thank you for that. I just wasted my water on that face. Maybe this. Oh. Uh, letter armor, a bit and relief gem. Hey! That might be it! Come on, you free! Place the gem in the eye socket. The gem begins to rumble, stray rock standing across the floor. Finally, a large section of the wall gives way. Sweet! Adventure! And more oozes. Kill it! Death to our end! Hmm? 
And there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Character positioning matters. Minor cloak of protection. Fortitude plus five of reflex plus amethyst and then Aedra. Cool. Can we take the ones on the relief now? No, the gems are stuck there. That's a shame. Maybe we should put on that cloak of protection now. Uh, capes and cloaks can be worn for protection from the elements and from prying eyes alike. Many are woven by spells, spells to provide additional defense abilities. Sweet! I got myself a little cape! Thanks, ancient people. And weird that your textiles have not rotted away ages ago. In a mucky, murky place. Where such a thing would definitely be rotted away. Seriously. Oh. Oh, it's coming. Oh, I wanted to show mercy. I guess it's dead now. Hmm. A school of it. You better run. Oh, they're, they're, yeah. they're, it's dead. School of Ear. Interesting. A crack runs along this wall from floor to ceiling. A light of, g a light gust of air passes through it. Push on the wall. Despite the damage, the stone looks heavy and solid. Push on it yourself. Push on the wall, but it does not give. Push on the wall, send Kalisha. Please push all our might and crack begins to spread. Finally, ancient masonry gives way. The wall cra crashes down, revealing a circular room ahead. Yeah! Okay. Rest. Oh, a blue cutscene. How 90s! <laughs> okay. Pre-rendered cutscene. I could scout ahead. Oh shit! See what's around the Kill corner. Kill it. Your mom. Okay. Quick and quiet. Let's see. You tell me if you find any fucking uh, traps. Oh, and it's 20 minutes. <laughs> okay, well, thank you for watching this episode of Hunger Plays. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you're trying to make some more shenanigans. This is starting to get a little bit interesting. Uh, we're definitely getting slowly introduced to this universe. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Until then, bye.